Good morning, my name is Scott Johnson. I'm keeper of the Herring Run. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I have uh, taken care of the herring. They, I let them up in the springtime and they go in and spawn at Pilgrim Lake and then two, two weeks later they go back down and in the fall I let the small fry out provided there is enough water for, the, for them to, to leave. Um, my name is Judy Scanlon. Uh, I'm a resident and I've been interested in the herring since I was about five years old. I'm a marine biologist and involved in the Shellfish and Waterways Advisory Committee uh, who was given the responsibility of uh, looking into the, the herring run. Herring runs here in Orleans are historical herring runs and uh, this project um, was of great interest to me personally uh, and professionally because I'm concerned about the declining stocks of herring. It's one of our wonderful resources. They're an extremely key, uh, important species for the food chain. And um, I'd like to see the herring return to the numbers that they used to be here. Starting uh, in around the uh, 12th of April, uh, we had uh, 52 herring run counters divided onto nine teams. And we started at 7 o'clock in the morning, and they were an hour and 20 minute periods. And each person would count for 10 minutes in one of those nine uh, counting periods. And uh, we counted uh, for, as I said, uh, until the 1st of June, we had uh, 158 fish which were sighted under 440 individual observations. And uh, the net result was in the extrapolation uh, uh, of in excess of 1,500 fish went through the run in this, in this season. Uh, the one thing that generates their movement is usually a, a temperature of 10 degrees centigrade, uh, which gets them going up into the, uh, up through the run and up into the pond uh, for their uh, uh, mating.